Hi. Richard Dickoff from 666, how are you? Yes, I know, it's been a while since I've done a video where I'm sitting here talking to you. And I know some of you are complaining about that, which you can keep to yourself in future. Today, I found a video, or I, <clears throat> I saw a video, uh, by a user who I'm quite convinced could be Gary Cardboard's sister. Um, she is um, a woman who's gained a bit of notoriety on YouTube in the last couple of weeks. Um, not the sort of notoriety you want, you know, the, the, same, the, the sort of notoriety that, you know, the M5 rapist sort of gained in the 80s. But she is a user who goes by the name of Cassie Dill 2. I don't know whether she's Cassie Dill 2 because she's the second generation. Because I honestly do not think there is a human being alive who could be classified in any way to be less advanced than her. You know, unless, unless Cassie Dill 1 happened to be a stillborn baby. To say she is, you know, to call her just the textbook retarded or, you know, or um, spacky shit muncher, or, you know, fuck target mongoloids, you know, lobotomy baboon girl, would be an underestim underestimation. This, this, is, this is the woman, this woman is what would happen if Glenn Beck fucked a donkey and they had a kid. She has got, she has got literally nothing in her head whatsoever. Some people have made the excuse that, you know, well, she's all right to look at, oh, fuck off. The, the Eiffel Tower's all right to look at, you can go stick your knob in it. No. This woman, she made a video today that I think is actually, it's, it's one of those videos where I actually am impressed by the disaster that it was, because it's 47 seconds of the most insane, incoherent, babbling gibberish you will ever hear. And I'm going to play it for you now, and I'm going to respond as we go along. Do you realize that you're the sperm? See now, that's how she starts the video. She doesn't say hello, doesn't enter us into a topic. No, she says, do you realize that you are the sperm? What, the sperm? There's just one, is there? You might be a sperm, darling. I wouldn't waste my sperm on your face. Bill Clinton wouldn't wipe his cock on your dress. You're the sperm. We're the sperm. Oh, now we're the sperm, are we? Oh, we've, we've we've gone from being one unified group, you know, united under this banner of a of a microscopic, one billionth of an inch sized tadpole. Now we're the sperm. No, we're not we're because that would mean I'm somewhat connected to you. And even though technically I am, I'm not gonna fucking live with that. If you become pregnant, darling, I don't become pregnant. I mean, I, I think I think women like you will eventually lead to in a couple of years' time men getting pregnant because it's more preferable. I'd rather shit a baby out of my knob. That means that this one little sperm... Could you stop saying the word sperm? Could you stop that? Stop saying sperm, sperm. You're like a fu Is that your new word? Did you learn that today? Sperm! Out of all the millions of other sperm, uh, made his way... He, he! First of all, I love that you're classifying it as a he. It's not a he, it's a sperm. They don't call each other Gary and Tim and Doris, you know, they're, 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 they're... You fucking really are. You are the dumbest fucking person on this, on the internet, on the internet ever. I'm sticking my neck out on the line. I've said that several times before, and I never believe it will be topped. You, you've topped them all today. You've topped them all. Gear up, death SS head, yeah, uh, fall for a lifetime, yeah, yoke up, venom fang X. You have you have stood above all of these, all of these great great knobheads in, in internet history from a towering height, and you have done a steaming piss on their fucking on their legacy. He made his way. He fought it through thick and thin. He's not King Leonidas. Right? It, it, they don't go through there. It's not like an episode of Wacky Races. There's not one in an aeroplane and one in a one in a boat and falling through thick and thin. It's just going where you know. If he'd, have, I'm sure, if the sperm had been aware that he was inside you at any point, he'd have fucking flown out the other way. He'd have poked with orgasm and would have come out of his ass. He fought through thick and thin to get into that ovary. Into that, uh, into that ovary. 
I mean, it's just an absolute miracle. No, it's just an absolute miracle. It's just an absolute... No, no, it ain't an absolute miracle. It, it isn't an absolute miracle when the sperm goes into the... A miracle. And I don't want to sound patronizing here, bitch, but a miracle is when something happens that is completely out of the blue, completely and utterly goes against all common sense logic and what we understand. A hundred years ago, there were a billion people on the planet. There's now 6.7. That's not a fucking miracle, okay? Bacteria multiply, as we can see. You know, it's not a fucking miracle, right? A miracle would be you opening your gob and a noise coming out of it that actually made life better. This is a miracle. This video is a miracle. Because I can't believe anyone would make this video, watch it back, and go, yeah, that is, that's the one. I've nailed the clip right on the head here, you cunting twat. I'm the sperm. <laughs> what in the name of Jesus' rotting thon gusset are you talking about? Yeah, and then you kill him. Cassie. Cassie, again, I don't want to sound patronizing here, twat face, but every time a man bombs his load, when he drops base, when he lowers the troops, he bolts 250 million on average. Right. Right. So that one sperm, did you think there was one sperm? Right. That one sperm, right? Inside the woman, there's 249,999,999 corpses. Which is actually a symbol for how this country has begun to um, criminalize and punish uh, productivity and any sort of uh, accomplishment worthy of recognition. Yeah, and I don't think this video is going to help. If anything, I would wager that at least 50% of the men who have seen this video will go, will leave the room and immediately grab the nearest bread knife and slice their own cock off. Because they would rather do that than risk the idea that one day they could produce another you. You are the biggest drain on this fucking planet on the advancement of mankind. You are the biggest burden we have. You're the biggest fucking problem. It's people like you that sh fucking make us not want to carry on because when people like you get into positions in government and because of what they believe, when, when the reality is you are, you know, you, you have, people like you are normally in the back seat of a small bus licking the windows, right? You know, you are, you, you do nothing. You are worthless. You are less than shit. And you have the fucking gall to sit there and talk about criminalizing productivity. Well, do you know what the best way to cure that? Abstinence only education, Cassie. It's guaranteed to produce such sluts. Right? One day you might fuck, I, God forbid you have kids, if you do ever get pregnant, I hope they die before they fucking come out. Or that you put them in a dishwasher by accident. You are a fucking cock, right? Richard the Dick Coughlin, 666, good night, may God be less, and if he is, he couldn't be less than this fucking cunt's IQ. I'm the sperm. 